So we got the AC400, which only does the 134A. AC600, which is for the new Freon 1234YF. And we got the AC200 Dual, which does both 134A and 1234YF. And we have the cover, dust cover for storage. We got the user manual, USB cord for updating the database through here. You got two fuses for the power supply to quick connect for the tanks. So this machine is a little bit different. It's got the high low again, same thing. Air purge gauge and an air pressure tank to tell you how much pressure in the Freon in this tank. For the 134A, it's got also got an air purge and a tank gauge. The machine has two tanks, one for 134A and one for one, two, three, four, why yeah. You got the new oil bottle here and the used oil bottle on the other side. You got the vacuum pump up on top. So we're gonna go ahead and turn the machine on. And it's gonna ask us, select which refrigerant we want to use. If we're working on a car with 134A, we'll use 134A. But today we're working on a 2019 Dodge Ram. So we're gonna use 1234YF. And it's going to tell us to replace the hoses from 134 to 1234YF, which we've already done. Now it's clearing the lines to make sure there is no com contamination between the 134A and 1234YF. So it's purging the lines, make sure there is no free on left in the lines. And the machine is instructs you how long it'll take or what you need to do. Because our previous job was a 134A vehicle, and this vehicle is a 2019 Dodge Ram, and as I said, it's a 1234YF. And because of the cross contamination, it purges the hoses to clear any free on left over in the hoses. So there is no cross contamination. So if we go ahead and do another, bring another vehicle in that is also 1234YF, we don't need to do the purging of the lines again. But if we go and do a 134A, then we'd have to go and do the purging of the lines. We got recovery, vacuum, oil injection, charge, auto mode, tank fill, and settings. Now we're gonna go and show you the system settings. Password is six ones. Language, whatever language you want to select. Calibration, now we got two calibrations, one for 134A and one for 134YF. Since we're doing 1234YF, we can only calibrate 1234YF in this section. In database again, to update the database or to check and see your database, what, how much vehicles or what vehicles are covered. Again, the weight, you can either choose kilograms or pounds. And the weight set, we never touch that because that's the amount of the tank when it's empty. So the, the weight of the tank empty. If we change that, the, caliber, the weight on the machine will be wrong. So we can only fill so much free on in the machine. The last but not least, the component testing doesn't apply to you guys. You can turn on the different valves, test different valves or vacuum pumps, see if everything is working or not. Now we're gonna hook up the machine to the vehicle. And when you connect the lines, make sure you just give them a tug so they're properly connected. And then go ahead and open the fittings. We're gonna go ahead and do an auto mode this time. It asks us how much time we want for vacuum. So we can set the vacuum time, oil injection, how much oil we recovered, and we can put that amount here, and how much charge. Or we can charge by database. Since this vehicle, we know it has no leaks, it's a brand new vehicle, we're gonna go ahead and do a vacuum for two minutes. We're gonna inject oil point. 
0.8. Now here you can select whether, whether you want to charge from high side, low side or both. And at the end do you want to purge hoses, yes or no? And you always want to say yes. And that's it. And enter. Now you can charge by database or but since we already know how much this vehicle takes we're just going to go ahead and put our point one two and you hit enter and the machine does everything on its own it's going to do the recovery the vacuum oil injection and charge and while the machine is running you can go and do your own thing the machine will sound an alarm with like a long beep and it'll tell you the machine is done now it's telling us to turn the vehicle ac on max AC now it's telling us to close the high side adapter we're gonna go ahead and close the high side hit enter now it's purging the hoses now you can print what you've done attach it to your receipt it shows how much was recovered and how much oil was injected and how much uh, free on now we're gonna go ahead and disconnect both lines so after you've disconnected from the vehicle Make sure you do a recovery on the lines, just to clear the hoses, purge the hoses from any leftover Freon. We'd like to thank our uh, friends at Auto and Tire Center for taking the time and letting us do a demonstration in their, at their shop. For all your automotive needs, please don't hesitate to give them a call. And for all your automotive equipment needs, please give us a call at